a career in medicine, and it doesn't have to take 10 years to get there. Todd Matthews is the campus director at Brookline College here in Tucson, and he's joining us with more details. Nice to have you on, Todd. Great to be here, Alex. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about the programs at Brookline and how they enable somebody to have this, this amazing career in medicine without spending their life trying to get there. Sure. At, at Brookline College, we, we focus really on healthcare programs. Most of our programs are going to be able to be completed really in less than a year, uh, typically anywhere from you know eight to 10 months. Amazing. And there are so many benefits to doing this. Obviously, you further your career, but what are some of the other ones you would tell people? Yeah, I think the, the big thing is we have changed our focus really because of the demand that employers want. We focus more on medical assisting, patient care technician, pharmacy tech, phlebotomy, and our newest program, surgical technology. So these are those high demand healthcare programs that we're able to support the Tucson market in. Yeah, incredibly valuable experience, like you're saying, for any medical office to be able to offer. Um, financial aid is something that a lot of people may rely on. Uh, to get through school. Do you offer that at Brookline? Oh, oh yes, we have um, actually two financial aid officers that work specifically with students and all students have different types of financial aid needs. So what we try to do is see if their eligibility is to put together a good package that's affordable for them. Well, and clearly you've thought of all aspects because not only are you helping people with the financial side, but then career guidance. It's so important to talk to somebody who can assess what you're gonna be good at, where you should be yeah. going. Tell us more about career services there. Yeah, I, I've just been a believer that really the career search process starts from day one when they're in school. Typically, and I go through my own experiences when I was a graduate from college, uh, that's when I started looking. But what we wanna do is start preparing students to build that resume from early day one to take their prior experiences and build their school experiences. Cause ultimately they'll go into an externship, which in many cases, we want that to lead to a job for them so they can work in their field. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so it's great to think about going to school and, and, and again, setting yourself up for a great career, but we all live busy lives. And so tell us what a typical week looks like for a student. Um, what are the hours, et cetera? Yeah, for, for our students, typically many of them do work and they have families and some may work one or two part-time jobs. So it's important to be able to have that, that balance. So in our cases, students right now, with COVID, it's changed things a bit over the past year and a half, but many of our students will be doing uh, classes virtually or, or online, what we consider more of a hybrid mode, and then they'll come to campus to do their hands-on portions. And who are the who are the people teaching the students? Tell us oh, a little bit about yeah, the we, staff. We are really fortunate. We try to really bring in uh, men and women that have worked in the field. So they're bringing real world experience to that classroom. So um, they worked in the field, some continue to work in the field as they also support our classroom instruction. What have students said to you uh, about their experience at Brookline from, from beginning to end, what, what they were expecting and what they received, et cetera? What, do you, what are you hearing from them? Yeah, we, they talk a lot about family. We're not a large college with several campus you know, locations or buildings, I should say. It's one location. And I think the most important thing is we're gonna know them by name and we truly have that family culture that's there. So we know that sometimes it's not just the academic challenges in life, but those life issues that get in the way. So we're there to support them through the whole process. And that's typically what we hear from students at graduation where they'll say, you know, never thought I could make it, but this instructor really helped me get through some tough times and told me to hang in there. So it's truly a team effort. So, I mean, a lot of the students, like you're saying, they might've felt discouraged or like they couldn't do it, but the support system uh, helps more students get there more often. Yeah, in a lot of cases, it's just the, the push, the motivation, the drive that we have to continue to work with them on. Because I mean, them have the, you know, the ability to do the work, but it's going back to how do I balance the job and family and get the homework done. And, and again, the fact our programs are so short term, it's not where they're investing, you know, two years of their time. We can get them in and get them out quickly and into the workforce. Yeah, anyone, anyone can accomplish that. So tell us more about. There's a workshop coming up, right? And oh, yeah. you're also I'm, working with the American Heart Association. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm really excited about that. I, I've been in the business for 35 years. So as I've worked in different schools, I'm just a believer in, in, in self-motivation. So I've got a great workshop coming up Friday, October 1st from 9 to 11 at the campus. We're going to do that at the campus. Uh, I'll talk about things from time management uh, to purpose in life. Uh, we, we're just trying to really get everybody really re-energize and motivate it again. So this is actually open to the public and also to our current students. Excellent. Todd Matthews, a lot of great information. I'm going to direct people to the website uh, to get their journey started. Thanks for being on. Great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Of course. And if you'd like to learn more about the online and in-person classes on your way to an exciting new career, visit Brookline College 
www.edu. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.